Okay, this is a, another chapter in the 817 LCD display saga. Um, I've now manufactured, I've done a CAD drawing for some circuit boards. Um, I use this blue transfer stuff, I don't know if anybody's ever used this, but it's quite good. And uh, this is one of the one of the boards I've just I've just made. So that's uh, unpopulated. Uh, and over on the bench is the one that's currently running, running with a pick. Internal oscillator again, still running at uh, 9600 board. I have left space. Um, to put um, a crystal on there I, I intend to up the speed uh, I've got rid of some of the software bugs Oops. let's put the camera back um, if I switch on the 817 switch on the power supply um, I'll just zoom in a little bit you can see that uh, if I key up now, we've got rid of the uh, the problem where it was leaving some of the display still lit. So that's that's working fine. Um, the double zero um, after the 400 on FM isn't needed. So if I go down the band, I did have a bug where if I came back, it would leave the zeros on, but. That seems to be working okay now, so that's uh, that seems to be working fine. In fact, if I go there and change the mode, there we go. So that's uh, that's absolutely right, and that's as far as I've got so far with the uh, with the saga of the 817 display. Uh, thanks for watching.